because of a pilot program, we've had e-scooters here in Portland since July. And ever since then, we've heard of them being thrown into the Willamette. We've also seen these scooters being tossed into trees. But when it comes to scooter vandalism, our investigative reporter Gabrielle Carroll says it's been hard to get the scooter companies to talk, Gabrielle. That's right. To find out what's really been happening with the scooter pilot, we filed a series of public records requests. And here's what we found. Fun. They're awesome. On September 10th, I emailed asking Portland Bureau of Transportation Director of Communications John Brady about scooter vandalism. He responded saying scooter companies don't report to us about incidents of vandalism and we haven't had any informal conversations about vandalism. However, we obtained records showing that five days earlier, a representative from Lyme emailed Pivot asking to speak about a specific vandalism issue they're having on the east side that is becoming more widespread. We wanted to know why we were told that the scooter companies had never talked to Peabot about vandalism. Can you explain the discrepancy there? Right, that's true, and that's an accurate account. I hadn't talked to directly to that to that staffer who was involved in that call. I had asked around, uh, you know, colleagues, have you had any informal conversations? And I hadn't talked yet to directly to that uh, to that uh, to that colleague. Lime would not give us an on-camera interview on vandalism. The company provided us a statement saying that vandalism of any kind and theft within the national fleet is less than one percent. But Peabot told us. The spike in vandalism was happening on a trail near I-205. Apparently, there were people that were uh, they were uh, um, doing something with the mechanics, the battery of the scooters, and so and it was they saw similar types of vandalism around the batteries. Pivot says it's not responsible for intervening in vandalism, and that companies should report incidents to the police. Brady says the problem is no longer growing. As far as we know, um, it's now taken care of itself. They're not seeing these incidents. They haven't seen these incidents in the last few days. As for the question of whether scooters have been thrown into the river and how many scooters have actually ended up in the Willamette, we still don't have a full answer. We did, however, obtain one email where Lime's representative says they have had success fishing out scooters with a grappling hook. Back to you. Wow. All They're right. Fishing for scooters so in the Willamette. They are in the river at some point then. Thanks, Gabrielle. And if you